Hello, my name is Krista Swanson, the lead economist for the National Corn Growers Association, and this is the May's Market Minute. A combination of climate, conflict, and currency values are factors in cost competitiveness that impact corn transits and overall U.S. corn exports. In a previous May's Market Minute, I covered the drought-related challenges on the Mississippi River, but climate-induced waterway challenges for U.S. corn don't end at the Gulf. Extreme drought forced substantial scale back of shipping through the Panama Canal since last November and is likely to remain reduced into the spring. Normally, about one-fifth of U.S. corn exports travel through the Panama Canal, which offers the most efficient route from the Gulf ports to Asian nations like China and Japan, who together receive about one quarter of U.S. corn exports. Conflict is also an issue. War-related attacks in the Red Sea impact transits through the Suez Canal. Let's look at how U.S. corn can travel to Japan. Although the route through the Suez Canal is considerably longer than through the Panama Canal, it is the next shortest pathway to Japan from the U.S. Gulf. Both canals are currently major choke points for transportation, each with 36% fewer transits in January 2024 as compared to a year ago. Other alternative pathways are around the Cape of Good Hope, around Cape Horn, or through the Strait of Magellan that approaches double the time in transit compared to through the Panama Canal. Corn could be shipped from the U.S. Pacific Northwest P&W ports in a much shorter transit time, which is effective for that corn grown in the northwestern United States, but it has major cost and logistical barriers for corn grown in the Midwest. The climate and conflict transportation challenges are not as critical for South American corn producers. The Panama Canal is also the shortest route from Brazil to Japan, but corn from Brazil's ports can reach Japan on alternative routes about two weeks faster than shipments from the U.S. Gulf. Exports from Argentina's primary grain port have a similar advantage in transit time over the United States amid this current climate and conflict situation. Those time differences have implications as corn competes for demand in a global marketplace where currency values also come into play. A strong dollar makes U.S. agricultural commodities relatively more costly. The May's Market Minute is brought to you by the National Corn Growers Association. Until next time, I'm Krista Swanson.